Right, this is a report we're getting from Bihar where uh, a Bihar leader entered a temple. This is along with his minister on the side of him. This was in Gaya. Now, the minister holds the portfolio of information and technology in the Bihar government. This was the Bihar chief minister, I'm sorry, Nitish Kumar. He entered the temple with his minister, Mohammed Israel Mansouri, in Gaya. Now, that has apparently caused quite a bit of controversy. We'll try to understand more in terms of exactly why it caused controversy. Mansouri is a minister who holds the portfolio of information and technology in the Bihar government, and he'd entered the temple sanctorum along with the chief minister. Now, apparently, you've got the opposition BJP raising issues with this. Let's go over to my colleague, colleague Saurabh, to understand more. Saurabh, if you could just explain to our audiences, was the BJP's chief issue with this minister entering the temple, the minister's religion? Yes, it is because uh, this uh, temple, Vishnupad temple, is an ancient temple in Bodh Gaya, and it is clearly mentioned uh, on the board outside the temple that no uh, uh, religion other than Hindu uh, uh, is allowed to enter inside the uh, temple. And so, when Nitish Kumar was on a uh, tour for uh, for. Uh, 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 for a, a drought-affected area, and there uh, uh, he visited uh, the Buddha uh, temple uh, over there with uh, Israel Mansouri, who is the IT minister of Bihar, and he has been newly elected in the cabinet. Now he accompanied Nitish Kumar inside the temple, and he in fact went inside the Sanctum Sanctorum, and uh, which uh, uh, sparked the row. Even the priest of the temple. Uh, was furious about it because at that time they didn't uh, protest uh, for this. But uh, when the chief minister left that place, the priest also started uh, protesting, saying that this was not okay. acceptable and it was against uh, uh, their religion and it was uh, hurting the sentiments of the people. In fact, BJP MLA Anubhushan Thakur Bachol has asked for the resignation from Israel Mansouri. Uh, uh, Sorry, that, stay with uh, me. We actually have uh, Bihar MLA Hari Bhushan is with us right now. He's from the BJP. He's with us on the phone. Sir, we are going to talk to you now. Sir, we are giving you the knowledge that this event was happening. सर इस पे आपकी प्रतिक्रिया क्या है ये निश्चित रूप से आपत्तिजनक है और निंदनीय है विष्णु पद मंदिर करोड़ों सनातनियों का आस्था का केंद्र है और उसके मुख्य द्वार पर ही लिखा हुआ है कि अहिंदू जो है विधर्मी प्रवेश नहीं कर सकता है लेकिन सेकुलरिज्म के भूत के तहत माननीय मुख्यमंत्री जी ने उनको लेकर के मंदिर को पवित्र किया है उस मंदिर को निश्चित रूप से पवित्र किया जाए और ऐसे मंत्री से इस्तीफा दिलाया जाए और करोड़ों सनातनियों से मुख्यमंत्री जी माफी मांगे ऑल राइट सर अपनी प्रतिक्रिया देने के लिए धन्यवाद सर एक और प्रश्न आपसे यहाँ पे पूछना है आपका ये कहना है कि मंत्री को बेसिकली अपॉलोजाइज करना चाहिए पब्लिक को ये सही है जी जी All right, sir. मैं आपसे ये भी पूछना चाहती हूँ कि मंत्री की तरफ से हमारे पास जो आया है जानकारी वो ये है कि मंत्री का कहना है और नीतीश कुमार जी का कहना है कि उनकी एंट्री सैंक्टम सेंटोरम में गलती से हुई थी। सर, इस पे आपकी क्या प्रतिक्रिया है? गलती से नहीं ये लोग जानबूझ के कर रहे हैं। जानबूझ कर के Okay. गलती दूसरे धर्म पर काय नहीं होता है कभी केवल सनातनियों को ही अपमानित करने के लिए गलती क्यों होता है ये सब जानबूझ के किया गया है और नीतीश कुमार जी अभी नए नए सकुलर बने हैं उनको संपूर्ण सनातनियों से माफी मांगना चाहिए और वैसे मंत्री को बर्खास्त करना चाहिए जो मंदिर के गर्भगृह के मुहाने पर गेट पर जो लिखा हुआ है उसको भी नहीं पढ़ा ऐसे मंत्री को सर मैं आपसे वही मैं आपसे वही पूछना चाह रही थी आपने अभी कहा कि उन्हें अपॉलोजाइज करना चाहिए मुझे ये भी पता है कि आपने अलग रिपोर्ट्स में ये भी कहा है कि उन्हें इस्तीफा भी देना चाहिए सर आप अब भी ये कहते हैं निश्चित रूप से इस्तीफा देना चाहिए करोड़ों सनातनियों के साथ विष्णुपाद मंदिर में अंतर्राष्ट्रीय स्तर के लोग आते हैं पितृपक्ष का और पिंडदान का सनातन संस्कृति में बहुत बड़ा महत्व है उसको अपवित्र किया गया है किसी भी स्थिति में यह माफी योग्य नहीं है 
All right, sir. Uh, thank you. हमारे साथ अभी जुड़ने के लिए धन्यवाद. Let's go back to my colleague Saurabh to understand more. Saurabh, I want to understand from you here. We've obviously spoken to the MLA. He is clearly very emotional right now. He's saying, you know, that the MLA, who is now a minister, sorry, the minister now needs to resign. Saurabh, I want to understand from you here. Uh, legally speaking, has the minister? Because I understand this is obviously a very sensitive issue. Religious sentiments are involved here. Still, I want to understand from you. Legally speaking, has the minister broken any laws by entering the temple? Uh, if we uh, see the uh, legality of this case, we uh, cannot affirm because uh, see, the, the temple has its own rule. Every temple has its own rule, and it, uh, it's a temple which comes under Hindu Religious Act, which is registered uh, in the Hindu Religion Board of Bihar. So uh, it is obvious that the temple has its own rule, and uh, when it is mentioned in the uh, board outside that no uh, religion other than Hindu is allowed, this can be a, really, uh, a legal basis for anyone who uh, approaches court. In fact, uh, uh, we saw uh, different uh, tweets uh, on this because it's a uh, burning issue right now on social media that religious, uh, religious sentiments are, uh, are heard. Uh, and now we have also seen tweets by Supreme Court lawyers uh, who comes from uh, those area. One of the lawyers has, uh, in fact, uh, uh, quoted saying that uh, uh, he is going to approach court because this is a case of uh, uh, breach of religion and uh, disrespect to one's religion, especially when there is a mention of uh, not in, uh, entering uh, into the temple. So this can be a basis of uh, uh, religious, uh, 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 you know, the breach of religious sentiment. Uh, the uh, several people can approach court, and uh, now if we talk about the uh, uh, the JDU side, Nitish Kumar and his minister, uh, the minister has categorically said that uh, it was uh, uh, he uh, went inside, and it was just a coincidence. But this cannot be taken as a, a, a excuse because uh, this was a. Uh, temple which has an uh, ancient uh, uh, value and it's a it's a major uh, you know a religious uh, spot in the state. So uh, any any hurt to the religious sentiment uh, will be taken seriously, and uh, we are yet to see whether uh, anyone approaches court against this uh, act. And before that, uh, we are uh, ready to uh, we are uh, waiting for any reaction from Nitish Kumar and the minister right now. Okay, all right. Uh, Saurabh, we'll rejoin with you once again later in the day. We'll connect with you to understand more on this story.